well, safe, social distancing and all that stuff. Anyway, um, I still have put a little video up just to show the latest Bronze Age Dirk that looks a bit like a Roman Gladius um, that I've done. Um, and someone made a comment about that this one, I think Dirk's had to be 12 inches or something. Um, you're probably right, but it's, I just think it's a, a bit of fun really. So, so here we are, you've seen this one, and this one, um, I've tried to kind of, you know, make it look like it was in pitch and all that as you've seen, and that's out. And this one here, I wanted to do something a bit different. So, this brass is from the casting. When we cast it, if you look back at the, the videos, you'll see that I've got a video that's actually dedicated to, to the casting of this, and it's quite good fun. So I had brass left over, and I had a big piece. So this on the end is solid brass. And now I didn't do much videoing of this, so I'll, I'll have a look, see if I have got something. Now let's bring it a little bit closer. Um, I'll see if I, oh, sorry, I'll see if I have got anything. But this is a solid piece of brass, and I left all that in here, because I thought it looks good. I'm gonna, yeah, oh, that's solid. And then the handle's from Walnut, as you can see, a Walnut handle. Um, and then what I did is I, Took out all the inside of the walnut, obviously. Uh, fit the blade in nicely, and the blade goes down about here. I was going to do pins, but it, it, I don't want to ruin the look of it, honestly. Um, and obviously, this is the other one I cast and shaped, and it's all been shaped by hand. And then, if you look there, I think that's pretty cool. So that's resembling pitch or whatever you want to call it. And then I just did a hammered kind of band. It's probably someone to tell me what it's properly called, but. So there you go. So this was, as I said, all hand cast. It's pretty much finished. Just want to put another coat on the wood. And the plan with these is um, when things settle down again, because we're on X more and there's, you know, there's Iron Age, Bronze Age, all that kind of stuff around us. I'm probably going to take at least one of these down to the, um, the National Park and see if they would like to use them maybe in the schools or, I don't know, showing people what they wouldn't have looked like. <laughs> So there you go, so that's the two Bronze Age Derricks. Um, if you've got any questions about this, if you're interested and want to know anything about it, you know, let me know and I'll, um, I'll uh, try and help you with my limited knowledge. Now these things, believe it or not, you can. I'm not putting a decent edge on it, I did and took it off again. You can get a pretty good edge on this and it's surprising how robust this material is. Um, you know, it's not a carbon steel, but yeah, do you know what I mean? You could, if you were using that as a weapon, you could do some serious damage with that. Um, and also, you know, as a functional tool for, I don't know, cutting up meat and things like that, I would have said it would have been pretty good. Um, and the same with that one, you know, they're, they are what they are. They are tools, aren't they? So, there we are. I'll do a little bit of video of these outside and show you what it looked like in the sunshine. Um, so it's only a quick video, this one. Obviously, I've got this little project going on. People have been guessing about what it is, but it's um, yeah, it's going to be good. But you'll have to watch the next video for this one. So anyway, just a short one. And for all my pine fans, pine cone fans, there's a few of them. Oh yes, I'm definitely doing something with this. So don't worry, guys. And the people that put the comments in the bottom, um, thank you. I have taken notice of what you've asked me to do. Um, Alright, and I'll speak to you soon.